Wrestling Contest is a six-woman battle royal. And from Yamaguchi, Japan, Kairi Sane. Plenty of drama surrounding this battle royal here tonight. And with so many top names competing in this battle royal, there's no telling who will walk away as the last superstar standing. Plenty of action coming up as we have six of WWE's top names ready to go here. Oh man, Michael, six-man matches like this always remind me of world class back in the 1980s. Plenty of action coming up as we have six of WWE's top names ready to go here. Oh man, Michael, six-man matches like this always remind me of world class back in the 1980s. Big time battle royal here, guys. Who do you like in this one, Byron? Well, historically, you're safest when you put your money on the biggest superstar. But to be honest, I'm not sure. I can see any one of these competitors walking away with a win. As we get started here, tell me what's the best approach to take in a battle royal. Well, the first thing I would do is make some alliances and go after the biggest competitor. From there, I'd stay as far away from the ropes as possible. 
That's where all the trouble goes down. Plenty of action coming up as we have six of WWE's top names ready to go here. Oh man, Michael, six-man matches like this always remind me of world class back in the 1980s. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. Our big battle royal is underway. You guys, I'm pretty sure I can watch these women compete each and every week. Spine Buster! I think things are about to get turned upside down. I think you are correct. Oh no, she's in a bad way now. playing any games tonight. Everyone better watch out. Even me! The leg is... Nobody comes back from this. Lana may be slowing some here, but this certainly isn't something she can't come back from. She wants this win bad. She's on the defensive now. She's going to have to make sure this doesn't get out of hand. Hey, unless you're Andre the Giant, battle royals are difficult. And she's clearly not Andre the Giant. So I can understand struggling a little bit here. It's got to be hard to rebound from that one. When I think of a six-man battle royal, I often think of how different the strategy is for a superstar who's competing in it. Yes, the objective is the same, to be the last person standing in the ring, but there are only six superstars. You're not able to hide among the trees, so to speak, as well as the Battle Royals with 20, 30, or 40 superstars. Going for the stretch here. She's starting to take a beating, but you certainly cannot count her out yet. All right, you made a great point earlier when talking about the different strategy a superstar needs to employ in a six-man Battle Royal as opposed to a Battle Royal with a much larger number of participants. In a six-man battle royal, a superstar has to be ready for anything right away and can't expect any time to catch their breath. There's nowhere to run, nowhere to hide in a six-man battle royal. Action's coming right to your door at every turn, and a superstar must be ready to eliminate an opponent at any time. They also must be able to defend against an elimination attempt at any time. It's important to remember, as with any WWE battle royal, that a superstar is eliminated when they go over the top rope and both feet touch the floor. Six-man battle royals have been used over the years to determine everything from who the number one contender is for a WWE championship to who will be a certain entry number in the Royal Rumble match. Get out of the way, Lana is rolling. Look at her go. Six-man battle royals have made for some exciting moments on both Raw and SmackDown. To your point earlier, Corey, it's important to superstars to remember that just because there are a oh, some good contact by Lana, this is all but over. Spin kick! I don't think this is the best time for Lana to be curling like this. She goes down hard. 
She's going to be feeling that one for a while. That could break a nose. We're looking at complete domination here. What an all-star ensemble in the ring right now. Six of WWE's most successful competitors for sure. Oh no, she's in a bad way now. There is no coming back from that one. I don't know if Sane can recover. Probably not. Oh, that's one way to bring it to her opponent. Big time. Biggie James is finding herself in some serious trouble here. The six-man match may have taken it all out of her. You know, I really thought she had as good a chance as any to win this battle royal, but that's certainly not looking like the case right now. Yeah, but we all know she's a fighter. Don't be surprised if she finds a way back in this thing. Nice job by Lana. A great six-man battle royal was the number 30 over-the-top rope challenge on Monday Night Raw back in 2004. The WWE Universe saw Goldberg, Mark Henry, Rob Van Dam, Chris Jericho, Randy Orton, and Booker T battle it out to see who would be the last superstar standing and earn the coveted 30th entrance spot for that year's Royal Rumble match. Byron, you took us back in time with the number 30 over the top rope challenge on Raw. The thing about that battle royal that is so memorable to me is the way Goldberg dominated the match early on. Goldberg was the last superstar to enter the ring and just started dropping his opponents. One by one, superstars were eliminated, the first being Rob Van Dam, followed by Booker T. And just like that, they were down to four superstars, Michael. You saw how resourceful Chris Jericho and Randy Orton were. That's it, the final elimination. This one's over. Now is a good time to look at some of the highlights from that last matchup. Wow, I haven't seen a match like that in a long time. I might go home and watch a replay. It was that good. Here is your winner, Kyrie Zane. And there's the last one standing. What a match. To be the last one standing after such a grueling encounter is beyond amazing, Michael. Thank you for tuning in tonight, folks. We hope you enjoyed that great match.